Hello everyone, my name is Parker Erickson and welcome to Concordia's virtual tour. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm from Holly, Minnesota. I'm a double major in communications and English second language education, and I'm gonna be a junior this year. My name is Megan Parkinson. I use she, her, her pronouns, and I am from Waconia, Minnesota. And this year I will be a junior in the fall, majoring in international business and French with a minor in English. Welcome to Knudsen Campus Center. This is the hub of campus. It's where all of our dining centers are located. It's where the Centrum is, and also, most importantly, the Atrium. Most importantly, because it's my favorite spot on campus. This is definitely where I spend most of my time studying, hanging out with friends, or getting a cup of coffee. We are now located in our Centrum. The Centrum at Concordia is a very big multi-purpose room. It hosts not only our chapel services, but also many different speakers and events um, that are hosted by CEC, or our Campus Events Commission. At Concordia, we are rooted in our Lutheran tradition of the ELCA, but we also have a strong interfaith program um, that shows all the different religions and organizations that are in the Fargo-Moorhead area and on our campus, as well as then around the world. Here we have The Maze, which is our restaurant on campus. You can order right behind me. You can get burgers, wraps, fries. They have really good fries here. It's also a really great study spot. In The Maze, we host a few different events like open mic night. Sometimes we'll bring in local artists to come and perform for us. And we also do slam poetry. This is The Corn Crib. It's our convenience store on campus. It's open till midnight on weekdays, so you can always come in here late at night and grab a snack. We also have school supplies in here, which has saved me multiple times. In the Kinesin Campus Center, we also have the um, Park Student Leadership Center, which is right over here. At the Leadership Center, it is where our Career Center is located, and the Career Center is a great um, resource for students to find out um, what their major wants to be and what things are available to them, and also just what they're passionate about. So um, they can use that to, through college as well as then after graduation as well. The Park Student Leadership Center is also just a great spot um, to get involved on campus, since it is where all of our student organizations are located and just a great opportunity to see of how you can better yourself there. Also at Concordia, we do have our post office, which is right over here, and each student receives a post office box for four years at Concordia, whether they live on campus or off campus. It's great to be able to send packages there, as well as then ship your textbooks in the fall or in the spring. Also available at Concordia, we do have a great study away program. So at our study away program, we either have short term or long term. Long term can be as long as the academic year, as well as then you could do a full semester program. Or at Concordia, we do have our May program as well, which is would then be guided with a faculty member and other Concordia students. Another great thing is if you only want to do a short term study away, we have 10 day programs in our fall interim as well as in our spring interim as well, where you can go all around the world and visit what else is available for you. We are now located in the Offutt School of Business. The Offutt School is located on our east complex of our campus. And here is where ma the main business students are located. So myself as an international business student, I spend a lot of time here during the day for my classes. Um, one of the great things about the Offutt School is that it's connected to our main part of campus um, through our Skyway, which is heated during the winter and air conditioned during the summer. One of the other great things about the Offutt School is all the different things that help connect students through their um, college career as well as then post-graduation. So we have our Career Center, which is specifically for business students to help them build resumes as well as then find internships and um, start networking with people in the Fargo-Moorhead area. As well as we also do have the Small um, Business Center, which is located up here on the top. And that's another spot if they're interested in entrepreneurship to get started um, and kind of begin their career. Here in the Offutt School, one of the other great things that we have are all the professor's offices are located here on this side of the building. And so there's great natural lighting here um, to see in sitting on the study spaces, as well as if the professor's door is open, they have an open door policy so you can pop in and ask questions about an assignment or a test coming up or just general life advice. And it's great to get to know them and build that connection in the Cobber community. Now we are in the Vidston Hall of Music. At Concordia, there are 19 different performing ensembles that you are able to be a part of, as well as then we have different chamber ensembles and smaller groups that don't do any major performances. At Concordia, you don't have to have prior experience in music to be able to be in the music program. You are able to just kind of come and have an interest and talk to any of the directors and get involved. It's a really great space for you to explore your different passions and either do it at a semi-professional level in our flagship ensembles of the Concordia Choir, Concordia Orchestra, and the Concordia Band, or you can be in smaller ensembles where you're just learning a new instrument or you're singing for the first time professionally and able to get help here at Concordia. 
This is our Center for Student Success. In front of us, we have academic counselors that can assist you for helping plan your four years at Concordia, helping you with a major switch and all things like that. We also have tutoring here and we have tutoring for every major across campus. At night, we have our writing center in here that can help you with your papers and our oral communication center that will help you with your speeches. We also have our orientation department in here, which is the department that helps you transition to life at Concordia. Right behind me here, we have Olin Arts and Communication Center. This is where all communication classes are located along with the visual arts. We also have our on-campus TV station and radio station located in here as well. Over to the left of me, we have the Francis Fraser Comstock Theater. This is where all theatrical performances are held as well. Right behind me here, we have the Dove Ray Campanile, also known as our Bell Tower, which is for sure the most famous landmark on Concordia's campus. We do have a curse of the Bell Tower. If you walk underneath it by yourself, you'll be alone forever. But if you walk underneath it with someone you love, you'll be together forever. There's only one way to reverse the curse, and that is to crab walk backwards from Prexy's Pond back underneath the Bell Tower. Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea and I use the pronouns she, her, his. I'm a sophomore majoring in chemistry and I'm from Zimbabwe. This is the Kalbi Ivisakir Library, which has four stories and is filled with great study spaces. In the library is a circulation desk where you can check out an unlimited number of books. And in the summer, spring and fall, you can check out cob bikes. So you can go bike riding to downtown Fargo or to some of the great parks in the area with your friends. There is also the fishbowl, which is the main computer lab in the library. The library is by far my favorite place to study on campus. Behind me is Anderson Commons, which is our main dining center on campus. So let's head on in. Inside, we have a variety of stations like Energy, which has a toasting bar, fresh fruits, and all of your favorite cereals. My favorite station in Anderson Commons is Bliss because it always has the best ice cream flavors. We also have great gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, kosher and halal options. Now the best part about Anderson Commons is that once you swipe in, you can stay for as long as you want and you can grab as much food as you'd like. Hello, my name is Georgia Walkler. I go by she, her, hers. I'm from New London Spicer, Minnesota. I'm going to be a junior this year. I'm double majoring in social work and psychology. Here I'm standing at the north side of campus. Behind me is Academy Hall. Academy Hall is home to many professors' offices here at Concordia. It also is home to the Residence Life Office and the Office of Student Development in Campus Life. Up next, we have Gross and Bishop Whipple Hall. If you find yourself in Gross or Bishop Whipple, you're probably taking a religion course, a philosophy course, or a language. Up next is Fieldstead Hall. Fieldstead houses some of our returning students. It also has floors dedicated to our honors programs and has floors dedicated to the multicultural living community. Near Park Region, we have our president's house. Students have ample opportunities to meet our president because he lives so close to campus. Near the president's house is Prexy's Pond. Prexy's Pond is a very popular spot for people to take pictures by walk around when they need a study break or study by. To close out our loop, we will stop at Old Main. Old Main houses our history, education, and social work departments. It also has our counseling and disability services office, which is one of the great resources available to students at Concordia. Now we are standing in the center of campus near our Normandy Center bookstore and Live Dallin Hall. Live Dallin Hall is one of our first year dorms. There are five first year dorms. Live Dallin, which is right over there, Park Region, Hallett, Erickson, and Hoyam Hall. Hi, my name is Nick Steinhofer. I'm originally from Bruton, Minnesota, and I study nutrition and dietetics with a minor in exercise science, and I'm going to be a senior this year on campus. Okay, so behind me we have the Offit Concourse, and the Offit Concourse splits off into two different areas. The first one being Olson Forum, and the other one being Memorial Auditorium. Now we will talk about Memorial Auditorium a bit later, but for now we have Olson Forum. So Olson Forum is our main indoor exercise complex. We have a huge cardio balcony with all sorts of treadmills, ellipticals, stair machines, some weight machines, as well as some free weights. And then we also in the top corner have our exercise 
um, testing and prescription performance lab. So basically what that is is exercise science students can go in whenever they have a certain class. Um, they can go in and they actually perform exercise tests on other classmates. So it's kind of like taking what they learn and applying it to real life, which Concordia is absolutely amazing at doing. And then also in Olson Forum down below, we have our 200 meter indoor track, as well as four basketball courts in the middle. So the basketball courts can be taken by a student at any point, um, unless of course they are reserved by either a club or a sport. But like say if I walk down there right now and a court's open, I can go down and I can take it. I can play basketball, I can play volleyball, I can put up a net and play badminton, pretty much anything I want. So that's really cool, it's really fun definitely works out for student schedules you know Olson forums open them about six or seven in the morning and they close about midnight so definitely work around students schedules that way too definitely a fun place definitely want to check out yeah all right so now we're in Memorial Auditorium so let's go check out the main gym so Memorial Auditorium is where we hold all of our varsity games for basketball volleyball um, we also have different high school tournaments here um, as well as all sorts of different events like our Concordia Christmas concert, um, our celebration of student scholarship, and all sorts of different speakers, musical events that come throughout the year as well. Um, unfortunately, the floor has just been waxed, so I can't really go down on the floor. Um, but we have all sorts of these chairs behind me um, and on the other side, as well as another court. So um, students can use this space up here as well if they ever need to. Um, and then along the walls, we also have coaches. So if anyone ever has any questions, Memorial Auditorium is where the coaches are as well. So our next stop is the Integrated Science Center. It is our newest building on campus, finished in 2017. Um, it holds all of our different science disciplines as well as math. So let's go check it out. So here in the science building right behind me, we have the living wall. Um, the living wall is a really cool piece just to kind of walk by, um, but also some biology students in our de biology department come through and they actually take samples of it so that they can um, best take care of it throughout the year and so that it continues to thrive and doesn't wither and die. So um, something else that's in the science building is our largest lecture hall, the Fugelstad Lecture Hall. The Fugelstad Lecture Hall holds around 60 students, but rarely do classes get that big. Uh, I know my smallest class was myself and four other students. So as um, students progress throughout their time here at Concordia, you know, they really start to um, focus in and um, work with a smaller group of students. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, it's really nice. Um, on average, classes are around, I would say, 15 to 20. So definitely something to think about. Um, and yeah, something else really cool about the Fugelstad Lecture Hall is that we also have two huge projectors in the room. Um, there's whiteboards all over the place, so if students need to write anything down, um, professors need to put down any problems, um, put notes up on the board, anything like that, they can definitely do so. Makes learning a lot easier um, on students for all different types of learning from hands-on to more note-driven, different things like that. So, yeah. So now we're in the Jolie Cure Commons within the Science Building. The Commons area is a great place for students to study. There are plenty of tables. Um, plenty of couches, comfortable chairs, um, and there's also a fireplace in the winter time. So if it ever gets cold outside, you can always come in and warm up and hang out with friends. So definitely a good place to check out. All right, so the final thing in the science building is the study rooms. So we have study rooms scattered throughout this entire building, um, like the one behind me, the one, it has marker boards, it also has a TV in it. Um, so if students need to work on presentations, group projects, they can do so. Um, but something else that's really cool is that even if um, they run out of space on the marker boards, they can just walk up to these windows and they can draw all over the windows, right all over the windows, do whatever they need to do. So that's also really helpful for students. Um, but yeah, if they also want to just use it as a hangout space, they can definitely do that. You know, you can hook up the TV to your laptop, watch Netflix, do whatever you want. So, yeah. Thank you so much for following us today on tour. Be sure to check out our website to find more scheduled events. Have a nice day.